Well, well, hello everybody. Welcome to another movie chat. And we're very happy here uh, today to have Tim Allen join us again. And Tim, Tim Allen is back. And, and of course, hello, Tom everyone. Vignani. So we nice got to Tom. Back, I, got a, totally Tom. I got a box. All right. Well, a box. They, 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 yeah. Take it easy. We'll get to all of this. Let's go <laughs> slow. Nice <laughs> and slow. See, that's the way to do it. First, I want to ask Tim. The reason he hasn't been on lately, he's, he's been kind of scarce in some some areas of, of uh, live streams is because he broke his arm in a couple of places, right, Tim? And now you're doing yeah. better? Yeah, and to, it, it's healing. I, I finally took the brace off the other day, and it's, okay. it's healing, but slowly, you know? So, you know, I'm still still staying at my mother's. I can't go home. I, I want to go home. Yeah. I can't go home. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, so, you know, but... So, as far as movies go, go that I've seen lately, if it's not on TCM, I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. So I've been watching TCM. Fair enough. That's well, all I got uh, is TCM. Have, uh, <laughs> have you? Well, before we do, look, we're going to try to go around. Let's see what we're going to do here. Because, um, you know, first we can talk about anything, anything we do found or bought which i have a couple of things what you have something tom i only have a couple so why don't i do you have a little more than me i think i've i've got two and then i went and i saw a movie earlier today so all right let me that. do mine let me do yeah. mine because yeah. i'll get out of the way and tim's here now tim is a laser disc fan and yes. i bought two laser discs even though i'm not a laser disc fan and i don't have a player but i bought it for collectible reasons these two all right one of them is beneath the planet of the apes this is uh, one of my favorite films ever, you know, science wow. fiction. And it's uh, the widescreen edition. Mm -hmm. and, nice, uh, nice. It's a lovely gatefold, you know, yeah. if I can figure it out. Lovely. The is Taylor destroying the world with the bomb at the yeah. end. And uh, they have a nice picture that doesn't belong on the top for or the wagon. Yeah. <laughs> from Planet of the Apes, the first movie. Right. But uh, there's the other one. And... Well, well, talk one. about the chapters on. Is, is that just a single disc? Um, um, or is that. Yeah, yeah, well, side one and side two, but the chapters. Yeah. yeah. What single is there disc. to say? Oh, it's just a single disc. That's what I was. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Single yeah. disc. Yeah, single disc. Mm -hmm. Then another science fiction favorite, The Omega Man. I always talk about. And these are just cool covers. They're just cool to have. They're cool yeah. covers and yeah. everything. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. If you ever move and you have more space, you know they're, they're great to frame. You just get record frames. Yeah, exactly. Easy. I mean, it, well, this one I would. This has a gatefold, so I don't know if I'd frame it. But the well, thing that would be open. tougher to get in the frame. Yeah. Uh, you, well, some but, of them. Yeah, I've got gatefolds that are framed. In but I want to see the gatefold. That's why I don't want to frame it. <laughs> well, yeah. But well, the point is with these. Um, I pay the king's ransom for these, which is bull. You know. Because these are supposed to be cheap. I've seen these things for dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Yeah, well, you know, they're going thirty-five up these each. Wow, that's a lot. But they're going up. Thirty-five dollars. Well, uh, this guy's a this guy's a crook. I'm sorry. The days of four and five dollar laser discs. Are yeah, that's it's, it's yeah. That's that's the your highway robbery right there. You shouldn't have paid more than yeah. ten dollars for those. No, I well, even I that's high. Even that's high. Yeah, and I well, pay well, these it, it, It's yeah. not these days. It's it's. I I pay attention to some of the laser disc stuff, and they've gone up quite a bit. But it's it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a dead medium, though. You know. It, yeah, I know. It, but there's, a, there's enough collectors yeah. out there. I mean, right. you want a decent player these days, you're gonna spend three to five hundred right. bucks or more for it for a, a nice one. I mean, it's a dead medium, but it's a mm. finite. It's medium, still collect. So. It's still collectible. Yeah, yeah, it's there's not as many as as you know DVDs or records or you know I mean right. it, it just aren't as many, right? Yeah, I mean really, it's just yeah. but this place I went to, it's a toy a toy store, yeah. and he had these in there. This right. guy just charges an arm and a leg for well, everything. I, I wish I lived where you live, John T. Not by me. Thrift stores. When my thrift store gets them, they're a buck, but that's not very often. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and uh, hello everybody. It's in in the comments. I'll just take care of this. Uh, I saw Godzilla versus King Kong, and how okay, was okay? Well, how was it? How was it? <laughs> you tell you tell us a little more about it, Harold. <laughs> oh, That's man. it, huh? You just I saw it. That's yeah. it. 
I, I saw the commercial, and all I can say, my review is not interested. <laughs> <laughs> could you put that into words which even Caesar could understand? Um. <laughs> that really wasn't a good use of that. Very yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. All right. So uh, the thing is, we want to sh talk about some stuff. So I don't want everybody to like get lost in the comments. So let's go to Tom, right? You have uh, yeah. some, something to show. Yeah, I got, uh, you know, like I said, I got a little uh, uh, birthday present to me because tomorrow is is, is my big uh, my big uh, day. Uh, mm. So bought a couple of things. I got one coming tomorrow. Unfortunately, I ordered three things and one's coming tomorrow. So uh, I got to wait tomorrow for that one. And that was uh, Wife versus Secretary, Clark Gable, or Clark, Clark Gable and Myrna Loy. So I don't know if anybody. No, you're your Myrna Loy. I that. love Myrna Loy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. I've been on a Myrna Loy kick really. Um, oh, next man. one, first one I have is uh, To Die For, uh, starring uh, Nicole Kidman and Joaquin Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Um, I had this before, but Criterion uh, just uh, released it, so naturally, you know, since it's my favorite genre, I had to pick mm -hmm. it up, yeah. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And next Aye. is a movie that I you know that I really, really enjoyed. Great, I think it's a good uh, little spice space. Uh, oh, I remember Gravity. That. Yeah, you know, Sandra oh. Bullock, and then uh, what, George Clooney has a bit part in this one as well. What, one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Fantastic oh, movie. Kidding. Yeah, 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 I thought this was great. I mean, really action-packed, very tense, uh, oh, you yeah. know, you, and it's a great ending uh, to the film, yeah. and, uh, and, and I really and enjoy it. Yeah. It's short, which is great for that film, actually. Right. I mean, you never yeah, get bored. Yeah, it's, not, it's 90, not 91 minutes. Yeah, yeah, 91, 91 minutes. Um, kind of where like Ad Astra. I don't know if you've seen that one yet, Tim, but uh, um, with um, Brad Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, I think that one yeah. was over two hours, and you kind of almost yeah. felt it, but uh, yeah. dragged a little bit. But that one is just like it starts and then it ends, and it's like wow. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's... yeah, it's great. Yeah, and then uh, I went to the theater today to see a movie called Monkey Man. Um, which was a great little uh, revenge uh, action thriller. Uh, a lot of great, uh, a lot of great action scenes. A lot of good fights and some really good blood splatters <laughs> in that in that movie. Um, if anybody who know, knows has seen the uh, the movie Slumdog Millionaire, uh, it's the actor that was in uh, that one, and he uh, directs it and stars in it. And um, and I really I, I enjoyed it. it. It wasn't great. It wasn't as oh thank you very much. It wasn't. Um, great um but i uh, heard a lot of good things about it so i wanted to check it out um and i enjoyed it it was, it was a little long in the tooth in some areas but uh but uh you know it tells a decent story it's got the, the the you know it's got the backstory and why he's doing what he's doing and um and then you know like i said he finishes the finishes the job and uh it's it's got a nice little ending but it does kind of drag in a little 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 areas of, of the film but i think monkey man is is a film that Guys of our age would enjoy. <laughs> and you saw this today in the theater? Yeah, two thirty. Yeah. Oh boy, you had a busy day. Uh, you know, you're rude, Joe. You're rude. Well, you're rude. I love using those, man. I love using I'm looking for an excuse to use those. I'm teasing. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, yeah. I forget. You're not Danny. I yeah. gotta be nice. Here we go. Yeah. So, you know all right. So that's everything uh, 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 that yeah. you have to report, right? Yes. At the, uh, yes. For today. All right. Let me report just a couple of things that I uh, watched. Well, um, sticking with my latest uh, obsession with the Sherlock Holmes films. Right. Um, I've been doing this collection here. I've seen Sherlock Holmes and the Voice of Terror, which do you know? Are you familiar with these, Tim, at all? Not really, but because this is very noirish, Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. and the Voice of Terror, film noirish, uh, shadowy. And stuff. Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon, Sherlock Holmes in Washington, and Sherlock Holmes faces death. Now I'm gonna, I, I need to watch a couple of these again, <laughs> but because I wasn't all there, you know, not enough. But the first two, you know. I, I, good. The second two, I gotta watch over again. I've seen these all, but not for twenty years or something. Open like the that. uh, open the uh, the 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 box. So yeah, it's can, annoying can, though yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. All it, all they do okay. is well, the first one, this one's in, not here, 
But all they all they do is this deal. I mean, uh, okay. It's okay. like <laughs> upside down. Yeah. It's like one disc yeah. each of those annoying lift here things that I yeah. know. You know, could be a lot worse. So. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Just trying to. <laughs> I I, I love I love these lift here things. I love them. <laughs> yeah, and you know, again, these are restored UCLA. Uh, re- preserved by UCLA Film and Television Archive. This was mm-hmm. th- these are out in two thousand three. This came out. They're not high definition, but you watch it, and I'm like, it looks. They look great. You know, they're not. They're not Blu-ray. You know, and I'm like, I'm happy mm-hmm. with these. I was gonna buy track down the Blu-ray set for all these. Are fourteen mm-hmm. films all together. Okay, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that for these. Uh, anyway, other, I'm also on a Planet of the Apes kick, so I pulled out the TV series. Planet of the ah. Apes, the TV series, complete TV series. The original one of these I used to have, I don't have it anymore, was this thick. It was one of these deals. Uh, yeah. Same mm-hmm. same packaging, but then they eventually consolidated. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I never yeah. got to see the series, Joe. So is it, tell, I mean, where does it go in the timeline of the, the does it have anything to do with the, the movies or is it, it, it yeah. or is it its own thing? Well, these are favorite topics among diehards like me, because I could do show after show after show after show on this. Right. This really just works as its own thing, really. Okay. Um, really, apart from the movies. When you when we were growing up, we thought these took place after the movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gets confusing. Right. Yeah, after right. the last movie, Battle, and before the, before the last movie, and then the first movie, there's a gap. The first movie's 3900s, the original. Right. The last movie ends in 2600. So they thought this came between that it doesn't really work. It doesn't work because of fanboy things that aren't consistent, you know. Okay, All right. It, it's a long story, but I I, yeah. I like to think they come bef- before you know, the original mo- the original movie right. in a way, but it's a long mm-hmm. story. <laughs> just, <laughs> I can't describe. No. It. Let's put it this way: just enjoy it for what it is. It works on its own. Yeah. Too bad they ran out of bullets, or it could have been season Oh, that's two. right. I totally yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot about that. And I watched the first, and I watched all the way through, which I've seen many times, the first three episodes. <laughs> Escape from tomorrow when the astronauts land in this futuristic world. The gladiators, where they try to make gladiators out of the astronauts. And uh, the trap, which is great. The trap's the best episode, where one of the astronauts gets trapped underground in the subway station. An earthquake. Mm. It's an earthquake. It's it's from San Francisco in the future, and it's still earthquakes. And they get trapped underneath with with the chief ape Urko, the bad the bad ape Urko. They're both trapped. They're going to survive in there together under the ground. They try to break ah, out. Sure. Classic, uh, the uh, Tony Curtis, Cindy Portier film. Uh, yeah, that? Uh, which you know, love. Hey, and I can't uh, remember the name yeah. of it. Uh, the de- uh, the yeah, dead, dead with a D. Oh, jeez. The, the defiant ones. The defiant ones, of course. Defiant ones. Yeah, cool. yeah. Well, I do love that movie. Uh, yeah. I know that movie. All right, everybody. Everybody. A lot of people say, and they, you know, uh, hello to uh, you guys, and especially happy birthday to Tom. Well, yeah. let's go up way up here and go up to this. And just get this. Um, Ed, did you see the trailer for the new Bambi horror movie? I did, as a matter of fact, and uh, it doesn't oh. look anything like Bambi. But uh, you're gonna go see it. You're gonna go oh, see sure, it. Sure, sure. I would have <laughs> saw Winnie the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey two, two, which yeah. I heard was really good. The first one, everybody, even horror fans, had sucked. I say it pretty lousy. This one was actually much better uh, Winnie the Pooh 2, they say. But I was sick for two and a half weeks, so mm. I couldn't. Yeah. I, I didn't go. Anyway, and the Bambi horror movie, yeah, that's another one. I think it's, I think it's called The Reckoning. Bambi The Reckoning or something. He's going to get revenge. Mm. Or she, uh, she, he, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so that was that. And there you go. You got uh, Apple yeah. Pits. Hello, hello, Pits. hello. Hello. Yep. And let's go down. Sherlock Holmes is great. Yeah, I I love uh, Basil Rathbone in there. I mean, that's what's really getting me going. Uh, I do not have the private like of Sherlock Holmes. Um, hello to Penny Lane. Hello to Matt Stickman. Oh, Penny Lane. Nice to see you. Penny. 
<laughs> I can watch them all on my phone. <laughs> you wow, great! And then you get you get that yeah. big inch and a half yeah. screen. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, you enjoy those <laughs> phone speakers. You know? <laughs> yeah, you get you, yeah, you was, get yeah. six decibel sound. <laughs> Uh, Mono perfect. sound, great. Perfect. Okay, thank, thanks, uh, Apple Pits. Uh, what's this? What do you think of the seven percent solution? Holmes meets Freud and tries to kick his cocaine addiction. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know what that is. Seven percent solution. What is that? Is it a movie? It's a it's a film. I've never seen it, but I recognize the title. It's a film. I I really only know the the, the Rathbone films. I mean, there's a Charlton Heston one I've talked about before from. 1990 or 91, you know, which is kind of old, and he plays Holmes in that. And by the way, there is there are references in these movies, a couple of references to the, to his drug addiction, just slight. Okay. Oh, uh, um, at the end of the first movie, The Hound of the Baskervilles, which is not in this, he says at the end, the movie ends, the last words are, as they finish their job, he just looks at Watson and says, Watson, the needle. Like, like well, they're going to leave and go home. Watch it. The needle come, you know, and then they that's probably it. stopped at the production code when the production code took over. They they couldn't really do that. But well, that was night. That was nineteen thirty nine. Really, that first that's, one. This that's, other one, that's which weird, is that got in uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon from forty two, I believe. Forty two. Sherlock Holmes is talking to Professor Moriarty, yeah. his arch nemesis, and he's trying to tell him how he, if it was up to Holmes, how he would kill him. He said, I would mm -hmm. do this, and I would drain your blood with the needle slowly. That's what <laughs> I would do. Or something like that. That's how I would do it. And then Moriarty says, the needle to the last, eh, Holmes? <laughs> he's taunting him. So it's like, you know. Anyway. Uh... uh... 13-year-old me did not appreciate the series. And guess what? 12-year-old me did not appreciate it either. Because no. I wanted it to be just like the the original movies. The movies. And I, I was very I disappointed. Don't, I don't think too many people appreciated it. Despite the bullet theory, I think it was ratings that didn't that kill well, it. Well, the thing about it is, <laughs> if I may say, I love it now. I like it much better now. And a lot of fans like it now because we know we... We don't expect that anymore. And mm -hmm. what else? There's nothing else you could do with it. It's really the fugitive, yeah. you know, is what it is. Yeah. And there's nothing else you could do. You have to go from city to city, town to town, meeting different apes and humans, and trying to yeah. escape. And that, there's nothing else you. Could, what else are you going to do for a story? You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should have mentioned. No, not that. I'm sorry. I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead. Okay. So this uh, rest in peace to Ron Harper. I, I didn't mm. make any any video about it. Who plays one of the astronauts? And the oh, okay. Air astronaut here. He died, and uh, I didn't. I didn't make a video. I knew about it, but okay. I didn't make a video. Yes, yes, uh, I did. I'm looking forward to it. Um, they said there's going to be a somewhat like, of like a musical. Apparently, there's there's 14 or 15 songs um, that are going to be in there. Um, and I like the look of it. Yeah, it's got the same feel. Uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty good. Wow. <laughs> All right. That sounds... I don't know if Tim saw any of these before. Uh, no. Tom, 51, doesn't look a day over 30. Now, you're really shoveling it today, Henry. You're really shoveling <laughs> it. <laughs> Get your nose out of there. Yeah, Damn well, man, his nose is bright. Does that? You know, the brownest <laughs> nose on the internet. Uh, good evening. How about Maroon? You know, I, I've heard that mentioned a lot in my kind of movies that I like, science fiction movies, but mm. I've never seen. Yeah, it. I haven't seen Maroon. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Requiem for a Dream is a good anti-drug movie. Not only is it a good anti-drug movie, but it's one of the more disturbing films you're going to ever see. Boo. Have you seen Days and Confused? I'm sure Tom has. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Criterion Collection release. What yeah. a genre. That Criterion yeah. is an outstanding genre. I, yeah, it is. I Well, I have. I, yeah, I have the Criterion. Yep. Yeah, when they talk about genre films, they're just talking about anything on Criterion. <laughs> exactly. 
Pit in the Pendulum is an intense film, oh. I must say. If you're talking about the Vincent Price one, that's it's, it's yeah. okay. I I enjoyed that one. I don't mind that one at all. Has anyone I have seen the Vambi versus Godzilla short? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. yes. That's it's really it's, fu- funny. It's only about ten seconds worth of film. Like, yeah, of exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they played that it, as an intro to Godzilla '85 when it was in the theater. They had that in there as a little short before there. Favorite John Hughes movie? Well, for one thing, I got to know what he directed. I don't, it doesn't ring a bell, oh. but I like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I like. Uh, I. Th- he did a lot. He did a lot. I'm going to say, um, oh my God, now I'm not going to think of the name of the dang movie. Oh, oh God, I'm old. I'm old. And I haven't watched movies in forever. I haven't looked at movies in forever. Oh my gosh. Try to find like, a good, good clip. Um, I can't find one. The one with the kids in school. They're on detention. What's oh, oh yeah, Bre- the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. The Breakfast Club is probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, Chinese that's movie. that's a good one, but I'd have to see a list. Uh, trains, trains, and automobiles, though, I think is just yeah, comedic, that's, comedic that's comedic probably movie. second for me. Yeah. A 1974 novel about Holmes. Okay, if there was a film of this in '76 yeah. with a good chase and fight scene atop yeah. a moving train. I thought it was a mid '70s film. So you're telling me that John Hughes also did 16 Candles? Yep, yep. Jeez, yep. I mean, yep. There's a good, there's a good li- line in that movie. Remember when the kid comes back and yeah. goes, I'm back, and then she goes, so yeah. I smell. I like the part where he comes on from the bunk, top bunk bucket and he goes, oh, what's a happening, my hot stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like uh, How do you feel, Tim? Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I feel fine. I felt fine since... I got my brace on, but you know, I'm it's getting it's healing. See, I can do this now. This really hurts. But uh, that's I can pretty do, good. Get it that high. You can wipe your ass, maybe. <laughs> that's as high as I can get. <sighs> I don't really want to think about it, but uh is birthday blues oh. the best little rascal short? That's impossible. It, it's a great short, but there's a lot of great little rascal shorts. I can't think of that as the the best one, you know. They are a riot. By the way, Tom, we didn't talk about the odd couple. No, we didn't. You, you talked a little let me, bit about Let me odd. watch the couple. Yeah, watch a couple more episodes, and maybe we'll do a little bit more odd couple talk next week. Yeah, I want to report. You got it. All right. Uh, thoughts on the chase of 66 star-studded cast? Robert yeah. Redford, Jane yeah. Fonda, et cetera. Yeah. Marlon Brando, yeah, Duvall, Angie Dickinson. I've seen the movie twice. I have it on Blu-ray. I need to um, I need to watch rewatch it. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, all-star cast doesn't necessarily mean good movie though. No, no. But I've never seen it. There's a lot of all-star cast that are wasted. Yeah. You go into the two-part Kevin Costner movie. I gotta see the trailer for it first. Um, and I heard that the the, the movies are going to be relatively close to each other, like six months apart. So Maroon, when I was a kid in the early 70s, one of the astronauts is played by Gene Hackman. Huh. And did you guys know that Mick Jagger was originally yes. going to play Alex? Yes. Wow. The, yeah, and the Stones were going to be the group. Yeah, I mean, that, that's carnal knowledge. Or, uh, I, that, that's been... I could kind of see Mick Jagger in a way in that role, but I, but other than the fact that you know it was Mick, it's tough when you, know, when you have an identification yeah. with somebody like that, you know. Yeah, that's been out in the open for a long time. Yeah, I'm going to see Civil War next week. I'm looking forward to seeing that. 16 Candles, a favorite. The Planet of the Apes TV show ran up against Sanford and Son and Chico and the Man, so no ratings. Yeah, that's why it was. It was a bad, you know, it was, it, the competition was killer. And uh, well, it lasted 14 episodes, but there's a lot, there's this series that lasted even shorter than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, I think it's good these days, but uh, uh, I finally saw the original Ocean's Eleven. Quite enjoyable. Yes, I prefer. Uh, 
mean, I, I know I'm not going to say that I like the, the remake better, which I don't, but I, I just, I don't think that, that that original is, is is you know, fantastic by any means. I mean, yeah, there might have to be some good moments in there, but I don't think it's like a standout. Of, yeah. No, it's not one Frank's of the good. Career, yeah. Yeah. They've all made better films, but it's still yeah. a pretty good film. It's not a bad film. Right. I, I like so many grindhouse exploitation films. Oh, yeah. I couldn't I couldn't begin. Um I to, I'll say I spit on your to, grave. Uh I guess I can I'll say that that's probably my favorite. <coughs> which shouldn't um, which shouldn't be, but you know because of my sick t- tormented uh, head, I spit on your grave. There's a there's a little out of the way movie called The Monster of Camp Sunshine that I quite yeah. like because I, it's a it's a nudie cutie about this gorilla at a nudist camp, but it's shot really well. I don't know who the cinematographer is, but he's got some amazing shots in this thing for this low budget nothing movie. The cinematography is really good. Is that another something weird? Yeah, that that's a something weird movie, definitely. Uh, don't remind me of this pain in it, but oh god, what a bore! What a bore! Love it. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Amadeus. 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 I, saw it. Amadeus. I suffered that. Couldn't stand uh, Tom Holtz in that oh. movie. But I did like uh, Sal- Salieri, right? The, yeah. Uh, yeah. F. Yeah. F. Murray Abram. Abram. Yes. Um, I love Vincent Price when he guest on the Brady Bunch Hawaii episode. The best fact. Uh, I'm waiting for this one. <laughs> Uh, great, great movie, and a great performance by Al Pacino. Oscar yeah, Ritter. I mean, what can you say? You yeah. know, I don't know. It, it shouldn't he? He? It's it's not the film he should have won an Oscar for, but I'm glad he did win an Oscar. Yeah, it, it, it's it's one Ritter. of my favorite Pacino films, actually. Yeah, well, great early performance from uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman as yeah, well. Yeah, he was. I liked him as an actor too. What a waste. Mm-hmm. I know. I hear you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, hello, George. What's going on? Hey, George. Hello, George. Uh, have you guys seen in the name of the Father? Yeah, in the name of Father, I have seen. Um, you know, for a while there, uh, I don't think it's been upgraded to Blu-ray, so it's been a while since I have seen it. But I did have it on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> What's the new people? I like the new people, but it didn't last long on television. Got me. I don't know. The Rat Pack is the best. Oh boy, Henry Startman. How do you feel about the Planet of the Apes seventy Saturday morning cartoon series? It sucks. It sucked then. It sucks now. I can't get can't get in, I can't get through one episode. I hate it that much. And it was those are on the box set too that you got right? No, no. Is it just the movies? It's okay. in the ape head. Oh, okay. Which I have in front yeah, that's of what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. The uh, that yeah. box. Oh, it's in that thing. Yeah, everything's yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, the first episode of this at the end of the movie like, froze on me, and I couldn't get it out of play. Oh. That happens yeah. sometimes, and I gotta like stop the player, pull the plug out. Yeah, uh, I hate that. But uh, whatever. There you go, Henry. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, he probably gave it that just for the title. Well, alone. well yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, you got to Robert Ebert had a position at the Chicago Sun Times. He can't come out and and go. Yeah, go he see can't this come out and celebrate. Stars, yeah. you know, he can't. Yeah. he can't do. You, he, you, he oh, can't well, do that. You know. You can't. Roger Ebert had a reputation for liking movies that a lot of times that people didn't like. Like he would give them oh, higher ratings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not, think not he bad. wrote he, he he wrote beneath the Valley of the Dolls for Rough Dolls, Mind, right. for God's sake. Right. You know, I mean, right. he liked bad films, but when you when you're in his position, you can't necessarily give them five stars and go go see this. You know, you can't right. do it. Oh, never seen it. Yeah. I haven't Very seen it. I actually have that. I have a um, a file of it, but I haven't I haven't ever watched it I, for whatever reason. It's on my list. It was on uh, it was on DVD. I don't think it's been upgraded to Blu-ray. Uh, not anymore. No. no. Um, I'm thinking about uh, when um, 
when the whole, when the whole <laughs> reboot of the D, of the DC uh, universe uh, happens, they're going to do some TV shows as well. I'll, I'm going to um, subscribe to uh, HBO Max. Yeah, no, I I there have ton of movie here classics here, and that's it. Yeah, T- yeah. Tina classic Henry's movies. Henry's up to his own. Henry's up to his old tricks here. Yeah, and yeah, I still right. gotta watch my Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, wait, are you not asking about Secret of the Incas? Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what that's what he is asking about. Is that what you're asking about? Yeah, Secret of the Incas is my favorite film. Oh. That's funny. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's no, laughing. Everybody's laughing. Okay. I, don't, uh-huh. I don't have one. Spaghetti westerns. I, I haven't seen enough. How about Blind Man? Oh, there's, there's <laughs> no, there's a, there's a lot of really good. My favorite might be Ducky Sucker. Ducky oh, Sucker, yeah. <laughs> really Wait, good. Is it sucker or sucker? No, I'm yeah. gonna get you. Sucker. That's <laughs> Ducky Sucker, um, which Man. is. Um, it's like a fistful of dollars too. It's supposed to be part of that series, but right. it's not with Clint Eastwood. It's it's the movie he made after Clint Eastwood left. Um, I think the 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 best low key Al Pacino film is uh, Injustice for, and Justice for All. That's low key, really. Yeah, I, I like think Injustice. So. I, I think I think it's low key. It's like it's it's never mentioned of the movies that he was nominated for Best Actor. It never gets a mention. No, oh, no, I like it. Just that's probably yeah. my second favorite Pacino yeah. film. Um, that's great. Yeah. Author, author. I actually saw that in a the movie theater, and I can't remember a damn that, thing about it for a reason. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the freshman. There you go. Nineteen ninety. Yeah, this was a fun little movie. Um, you know, Brando kind of like in his Godfather, uh, uh. uh Role, um, kind of reprising that, and Matthew Broderick is fun. Yeah. Uh, that's a good little movie. He he didn't need the cotton in the cheeks this time, though. No, was... not this time. Not <laughs> he this didn't time. need it anymore. No, I don't believe it. You shouldn't, didn't see a movie. <laughs> it happens, Joe. It happens. Well, a bit, yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it either. Yeah. But Worship but that was a song. That was a song. Um, Gene Pitney. Saying it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's some really. I mean, look, uh, look who's talking. Two was terrible. Uh, there's some really bad John oh. Travolta films out there. Well, what's that fitness film? Isn't there like perfect? Yes. Or something? Perfect. 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 perfect is ter- yeah. Perfect. <laughs> the, 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 second movie, the second the second movie he did with the Living Newton John is terrible. You know. Oh yeah, there's a, he he did a lot of bad films. Yeah. No, I'm all right, so. Okay, so here, here's uh, the here's the last two two episodes that I watched. Um, I did watch uh, Felix directs, uh, which is the one where he thinks he's going to direct the movie and it ends up being a yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah a, a you porn know, film. yeah, it ends up being a porn film, which was which was humorous. Uh, I did really like the next one, the pig who came to dinner. Oh which, yeah, uh, has. Uh, Bobby um, Riggs. What's his name? And Bobby Riggs in there, yeah, with a surprise oh, appearance oh. at the end from um, uh, what's King. tennis? Uh, yeah, Billy J. King. King. Yeah. yeah. So, what can yeah. you do that he can't do? I bet I can hold it no well, longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh! And then all of a sudden, they're both, they, they cut yeah. it. They're both in the right. They both oh! for, for, for those younger <laughs> in the audience, that was huge. Right. There was nothing bigger yeah. than. Bobby Riggs and and King yeah, yeah, at was, the time. Was, I mean, nothing was mm. bigger than that. My girlfriend hates that episode. <laughs> it's feminist thing. If you if you win, if I win, you become a charter member of Riggs Riggs. I love the way he talks with that slurry voice. Mm. I'll get it. I'm Oscar Madison. Okay, look at Oscar Madison. So when was I heard you say this morning? I think Paul Williams made a guest spot on. Uh, yeah, yes, a Paul. Four, a Paul. Was that four or five, season four or five? It's one or the other. Probably five. I don't know. Four or okay. five. You're gonna you're gonna get to it. Okay. But, Does he uh, sing? Yeah, he, yeah, he sings <laughs> it, it, and they actually have to sing it in there, and it's uh, you just make yeah, it's it's the whole thing is Paul Williams. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, it's good. 
Nothing to do with friends. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, see that? Uh, did you see that documentary on him? Uh, I'm still here. I think it's called, or I'm still alive, no. or something like that. By the way, I don't know if anybody and, knows. Should I play the clip again? This is Paul Williams in this clip. At the very end, the guy, the, the orangutan, teases is talking to is Paul Williams. You get a quick glimpse of him. You ready? Could you put that into words which even Caesar could understand? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's Paul Williams. A really, he plays a really small orangutan. He really makes a great one, yeah. I think. Uh, anyway, where are we? Uh, uh, here we go. Do you watch the Santa? Oh, there you go. There's movies I could talk circles around everybody all day. I, got, I haven't seen them in a long time. I got like tons. I must have like 20 of those things. To I have a couple. I've never, I've, I haven't seen any in years. I've seen them on television a long time ago. Yeah, there's a lot of those, man. Uh, a lot of never ending series. Uh, Terrible series, but I watch them anyway sometimes. But uh, let's see, Pacino as Satan. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I like that. I love that speech at the at the end too, when he goes crazy with the speech. <laughs> oh, I uh, I like the Sean Penn film no. of Bad Boys, but I didn't see the other one. Oh yeah, yeah, the, that Will Smith and uh, what's his name? It's a waste of time. Uh, no, I haven't seen Mar- Mar- Martin Lawrence. Lo- Martin Lawrence. Uh, uh, no, uh, Is Matthew Broderick a good actor? Average. I don't care so, about so. I don't think he's, you know, he's not going to win he's any not, Oscars, but... Uh, no, but, but for certain kinds of films, he's good. You know, I mean... Yeah. He's, I thought he was excellent in Project X. Not that that was a great film, but he was perfect for the part, I thought. Well, you know? War Games, I thought he was really good in War, War Games. Games. Yeah, that's, that's uh, yeah. Project X, yeah. too, but War Games yeah. is the one I'm actually thinking of. He was really good. Yeah. I thought he was so, uh, okay in Biloxi Blues as well. Yeah, you know, it's just certain parts, you know? Yeah. You want to you want to go first on this one, Joe? I don't know. I'm thinking of the movie. I just saw them both recently again, and uh, I would have to say I don't know. The, the same, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'd go. I, I'm supposed to say two, I think, but I, I kind of I like them in one. I like that. I like them in one scene. because I like. The, yeah, I like one because you get that transformation. Yeah. Uh, you know of of his character, and that's that's you know that's great character study. That's a you know one on one right there. Coppola at his best, you know, and, and Puzo, great script, great character study, great character development. Um, if that sh- movie was was any un- was under three hours, we wouldn't have, you know, you know, it would impact the 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 the, the characters in there. But I I think uh, one because just the fact that that arc, that character arc, you know, here he is. See him he's, change. He's, you know, I'm that. never. Yeah, I'm never going to become like my father. And then at the end of the film, he's exactly like his father. Sure. Yeah, it, I, yeah, it was fine. I think I saw it on Netflix. It was okay. I don't think that uh, I ever watched any soap operas that I could think of. Uh, anybody else? No, not really. I mean... My girlfriend watched a long time ago. Watched General Hospital, so I watched it with her once in a while. But no, um, I probably got a lot of these, and I just can't ever get one when I need it. A movie that you like, but never really like to admit to liking it. Um, wow, well, to me, it's like oh. movies are like music. You know, if you like yeah. a movie, you like a movie. There's no, you know, it shouldn't it's feel bad question. about it. I just wish I could come up with one. You know. I'm trying to think of like oh, how about the happening? My vote my my vote for the most underrated movie ever made. M night Sh- <laughs> Shambalama Ding Dong. Shambalama Ding Dong. Yeah, I have to think on that a little bit. But I admit yeah, it. I but I know I know I have one. I know I have a couple, actually. You know? Well I I I like a movie that you're probably not supposed to like, Love Actually. Oh God! I, yeah. I I remember the title from my girlfriend watching it with her, but I can't remember it. I I really like that movie. That might be the first movie we ever watched. Another thing. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, when did De Niro become a caricature of himself? Let me ask you. 
Well, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, no, no, I'm not a fan per se. It's all right. All right, here's one for Tom. <laughs> mm, the first one. <laughs> yeah, favorite Johnny Weissmuller. I saw them all. Saw them all, and I, you know, again, I get. A, I'd have to look at my notes. They always say Tarzan and his mate is like the best it, one, but I think that's the one I'm thinking of. That one. Um, that second. It's yes. the second one where it's think, a little you you see what's her name kind of yeah, nude. There's a there's you know? a nude scene yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It's yeah. And yeah. that's the one that's not uh, Warner Archives only has only released the first one. They haven't I don't think they released the second one yet. On Blu-ray, that is. Favorite saw kill or trap. You know, the funny thing is I've seen them all, don't know them by heart, and I can't think of any of the kills that come out you know in my mind. Isn't that terrible? I mean, so many of them. Yeah, I, I, you know, seen them all. And I like them. Shows I recommend: Banshee, Dexter, Sons of Anarchy, Boardwalk Empire, Sopranos, True Blood. Curb your enthusiasm. Curb enthusiasm. Well, I only know Sopranos and Curb Your Enthusiasm out of that batch. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire, I think, is great. Steve Buscemi is awesome in Boardwalk Empire. Uh, I've never had any desire to see um, the the biker gang one. No, I, the only one of those I know is Curb, and I like Curb, but Curb can be embarrassing to watch sometimes. I mean, he, he goes yeah. so far sometimes. You just like, I relate oh, to him exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I just still haven't seen the most recent season, and every time it comes up, I I, I say I'm going to buy. I so what I do is. Because I don't have the service. When they come out on DVD, I just order the yeah. DVD set and I watch yeah, it that way. Yeah, well, the latest one will be out eventually, probably, but the latest one might mm. still be on. It's the last season. He's doing it. They might so. have just done the last episode. I've heard a lot about the finale. Yeah, and I it know. It really is saying, the last episode. <laughs> you know. Uh, and I just think that show, as much as I like it, the last few seasons I've been like enough, really. I have been right. Well, that's the thing. It gets a little cringy because he's just so. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. Just that it's oh. it's too same the same. Uh, it bothers me because it's so. He, sometimes he just gets so goes a little too far, and you're just like Ooh. poor Larry. He was just misunderstood. <laughs> poor Larry. <laughs> yeah, he's poor like Larry. Me. I no. adore Phantom of the Paradise. I, I absolutely adore. I wish that I loved film. it. Uh, I haven't I seen it. it, but there is um gosh, what's what's that show called? Um Na uh, the Nancy Drew's Mi Drew Mystery Show. He played basically the same character on a two parter. Oh really? And, and, <laughs> and I don't know which came first. He plays, he's, <laughs> I, I like I like him all right in the It probably was was Oh, music, sorry, Joe. Go no, I don't know what to call yeah. it. Music mogul. The yeah, music mogul. it was probably Phantom of the Paradise because that was that was under lawsuits for a couple of years, um, and uh, so it, they couldn't release it. I, I know Kiss sued them for yeah. the makeup. I know uh, yeah. Led Zeppelin Swan Song. Led Zeppelin Swan Song labels sued them, um, so I know they had to go through some hoops before they could. Um, yeah, well, so probably, read, yeah. but but yeah, he played. He, I mean, it's not the exact same character, but he he's a rock yeah. star in, in in Nancy Drew, and he wears his big top hat and a cape, and he's bad, you know. So it's it's a similar yeah. sort of vibe. Kind. I of really thing. wanted to like like that movie more, and I yeah. just because that's rock and I roll. I love. The, and, yeah, I love the Juicy Fruits, the band in the in the in the in there too. They do three really cool songs, I think, in there. And it's got the actress that's also in that. What's the the name of that um, Italian horror uh, film um, that we were talking about that I that I need to see? It was remade. Suspiria. Um, yeah, yeah, Suspiria. Yeah. yeah, that's worth seeing. Yeah, uh, I want to see that eventually. All I know is Jack Nicholson and Meryl Streep were in it. That's Jack Meryl and Streep Meryl Streep. That I yep, haven't seen. That's one of. The, yeah, that's yeah. one of the Meryl Streep yeah. uh, films I haven't seen yet. Haven't seen it. Hi, Tanner. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Bought a 4K copy of it. Came from out of space. What do you think of that film? I really got around to watching it. And enjoyed it. Okay, I can answer this one. Uh, well, I, first of all, I saw it in the movie theater in 3D 
when I was a kid, the seventies, they, uh, I was taken by a friend, uh, and a sister, right? The older sister. Anyway, and we saw the creature from the black lagoon double feature with, it came from outer space, which was really amazing. You know, seeing that as a kid in 3d, mm -hmm. I, it's, it's all right. I like it. I don't think it's one of my, it's not one of my personal favorites, fifties science fiction well, films. I... I think it's one of the two or three really good, you know, invasion, aliens invade the Earth films of the 50s. I don't mm. think there are that many that are really good, and that's one of them. Mm. Uh, I'd have to see the movie again. It's been a long time. All I know is I think the concept was good, but people don't like the concept. I don't, I don't, my problem with the happening is, yeah, I don't think Wahlberg's that good, and Zoe Dash, and now, I don't, I don't believe them as a couple, that's one of my problems with that movie, they don't, mm. I don't, I don't see them as a couple at all, you know, I don't see any chemistry between them, I don't, you know, but yeah. anyway. Um, it's still, it's still kind of creepy, I think, Nosferatu. 22 it's still creepy yeah. it's got good shadows good camera work i, I think it's, it's still kind of creepy yeah it's it's not the first horror film but it's probably the first great horror film hmm. let me think about that one how about the doctor cabin of the dr caligari which is a little earlier that was the year before was that 20 or 21 i think it's 19 but i can't yeah. swear to that yeah. yeah but is is that a true horror film I maybe so. maybe but I don't know what you're saying. But, then there was the golem, but I forget what year that what that was. Uh, that year. Well, the problem is there's only one of the golems left. There were three, and the first one and the third one are missing. So yeah, they might probably, have been better. We don't know. <laughs> it might be in. It might be in someone's cupboard somewhere. Uh, we don't know. Do you remember, remember, Do you remember Tom? The release date of Masco Full Manchu. It's it, it's this month. It's what? it's this month. It's uh, the thirtieth, I think. Oh yeah. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna order I'm gonna pre-order it uh, when we're done here, or I think I already have pre-ordered it. Let me double check. Oh, okay. Well, speaking really quick. Speaking of Nosferatu, one of the things I have liked about being stuck where I am is um you know about midnight on Sunday nights on TCM they show a silent film. Which yes, is yeah. for me fantastic, and then they show four foreign films after that. But I usually can't. I'm not. I can't stay up that late. But um, <laughs> well, a couple of weeks ago, they showed Wings, and I'd never seen Wings oh, really? before, and I was yeah, surprised first, how Academy. good that first, movie was. First winner, yeah. First winner of right. Academy, uh, yeah. our best movie. Also, and then there's a really quick shot of um, Gary Cooper. Uh, yeah, in that yeah, movie as well. Yeah. yeah, well, he's he's the he's the opening character, isn't he? And then he dies, I think. Right. Yeah, he's got a very small role in. He's that. he's yeah. the opening character, and then he gets killed. And um, yeah, but yeah, I was I I you know I knew that it, that well, there was two best pictures really the first year of the Oscars. Sunrise was the other one. Um, right, right. And I've seen Sunrise, and I love Sunrise, and I always figured that Wings couldn't be nearly as good as Sunrise, and I was shocked how good it was. Do you know, really quick, and I'll stop with this, but do you know that to get the shots, they had to teach the actors how to fly the planes? I mean, there, there wow. was, that that's really planes flying with those guys right. piloting them. They, they didn't have any way to do it back then. <laughs> You're kidding <laughs> they had these guys how to fly plane. <laughs> now that was actually good, a good bit of trivia. I just wanted an excuse to use the clip. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's they they would never do that in a billion years now. But you know, <sighs> and the director was a World War One pilot, so a lot of the best stunt shots were actually the director of the movie flying the plane because <sighs> he was a very experienced pilot. I didn't see Lawnmower Man. Terrible, terrible CGI special effects in that no, movie. Say no more. <laughs> yeah. Leave sorry, it. Sorry, uh, sorry, buddy, but I, I, I'm not a really big fan of Lawnmower Man. I don't have any Lee Van Cleef stories. Uh, well, you no, Lee what? Van Cleef is is is. Yeah. I I like him a lot. Um, 
Yeah, he's in a ton of he's in a lot of his own. Um, he's in a ton of his own spaghetti westerns, way more than Clint Eastwood is. Um, I think I've seen Wild Angels. Don't remember it, but the trip isn't that Nicholson. No, no, the it's trip is Peter Fonda. Uh, Peter Fonda. No, I thought Wild yeah. Angels is Peter Fonda as well. I they think. both are. They both are. The yeah. trip is Peter yeah. Fonda. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen either one in a long time. Yeah, I heard that the curb finale was shown <clears throat> Sunday. I saw okay. it. it was a riot. I'm hearing that's a good end. A good ending, you know, for at least if nothing else. What's the original Walking Dead? The original Walking Dead is a 1936 film with Boris Karloff. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. See? Ah. Or you can say the original Walking Dead was a graphic novel, comic series. Favorite Saturday Night Live skit. Oh, boy. Come on, man. Uh, Best one. Uh, Farley. And, um, and what's his name from Roadhouse? Doing the uh, the Chippendales uh, dance off. Oh, that's pretty funny. Patrick Swayze, Patrick Swayze, and Chris Farley doing that. They were doing that Chippendales dance off. Was I think one of the funniest skits of all time. Man, I must have a lot of them, and I can't think of any. I know that I know I used to like so many of them. Uh, of course, uh, I'm thinking. Uh, of... <clears throat> Damn. Uh, there, there's there's a one with um with Dana Carvey. He's had, he had a re reoccurring character called Head. Head wound Harry, where he just had oh, this head yeah, wound, yeah. you know. And then there was this one scene where the dog was coming up and trying to get eating it. <laughs> and he had to hold on to the. Uh, oh. um, so whenever you see them cracking up to while during a skit, I I love when that happens. Uh, I mean, uh, and, there's so uh, many of these. Debbie Downer, the, the the Debbie Downer one too. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong um, with being a downer. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's okay, good. Debbie, Debbie Downer ones. <laughs> There's a lot of good ones, and then they had like uh, when Dan Aykroyd. Of course, I think the early ones was doing Rod Serling with the Twilight Zone, and then mm. how about the Refrigerator Repair Man with the crack yeah. of his ass? And yeah, Dan, Dan. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's, there's like, uh, so Buckwheat? many from the how early about, days. <laughs> Eddie Murphy was playing Buckwheat, but Buckwheat's been shot. But we, yeah, yeah, but. I'm trying to do later ones, thinking too, you know. Um, uh, uh, there, I almost like some of the commercials that they used to. I don't even think they do commercials anymore, but they used to do commercials. Still, yeah, the commercials. Yeah. A lot still, of the commercials. Still, 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 a lot of commercials. Yeah. Tell you, you'd never believe it. You would think it's a Saturday Night Live skit. Some of the crap they have today, you never believe it. It's today. Um, my favorite. I can Why, tell you what my Mari, favorite commercial is. I, I can't tell you about my favorite skit, but my favorite commercial was this thing. I don't know if either of you saw it called the change bank. And it looks like one of these investment bank commercials. And it's all this bank does is give change. And these people going, I needed change for a dollar. So I came in and they gave me two, two quarters, five dime or four dimes and two nickels. You know? and right. This is yeah. The whole yeah. Commercial. It's, yeah. It's, so it's the whole funny. commercial. And they're talking about um, how different ways they got change back. Yeah, yeah. And one guy comes in and he's yeah. like, you know, um, I wanted change for a, a, a twenty dollar bill, and I told him I wanted, um, you know, a, a ten, um, yeah, a, a five and seven ones or something like that. And they caught my mistake right oh, away. Yeah, <laughs> It's like uh, it's so serious, you know. It's like, oh my god, this is so funny. The chain bank. <laughs> how how about going to the sperm bank and, and wanting to have funny kids? And Rodney Dangerfield's the sperm donor. No, <laughs> he can't, he can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, <laughs> Rodney, can you do one more load? Oh, forget it. I can't handle oh, it. Give, give me a magazine, huh? That was a good one, and I, one of my favorites happens to have a beetle in it, not the Paul one actually. The one with oh, the Ringo, yeah, the, yeah. I was just Ringo. thinking of that <laughs> yeah. one. They have the yeah. beetle auction, and they're auctioning off all these stupid things like Paul's toothbrush yeah. and all this, yeah. and then they bring the real Ringo in, and nobody would, nobody right. wants to buy him. <laughs> <laughs> they they did do a pretty good one with um, Billy Crystal as Sammy Davis Jr. and they were him and Ringo were yeah, doing a, like a little mm -hmm. little mel yeah a little melody. Medley. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, medley. Thank oh, you. Oh, come on. We've talked about this a million times. We talk, come on, Henry. Henry. Now, remember this. Just write this down and then cross <laughs> it off. So you don't ever have to ask that. I'll tell you what again, I think okay? of it. $500,000 yeah. cliche. <laughs> That's what it is. It's been done a million times, that story about trying to get somebody to be a fighter. I'm so tired of it. I couldn't believe what the big deal was. Oh, uh, well. Uh, I always like... The day of the earth stood still, even if it doesn't have Ringo step out of the flying saucer. Uh, it took years for me to like that. I, well, I first time I thought it was dull. Now I love it. Well, like that's it. the other for me great fifties sci fi. You know, Earth gets invaded film. I love that film. Mm. I think it's great. We can all agree that Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park is horrible, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we yes. can. I remember yes. seeing it when it first aired, only because everybody in school was so big on Kiss. I said, let me see what this is about. Mm. I was like, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. I don't think anybody got it. Uh, is there a Orson Welles box set on Blu-ray? Um, different, different, uh, different studios, no? Exactly, one, exactly. Yeah, yeah he, different he, studios. He almost never yeah. made a movie for the same yeah. studio twice. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I don't know if Criterion Criterion does have a bunch of his films, but I I don't recall if they ever put out a box set though. Yeah, I don't I don't think that they have. I've never seen one. Absolutely, absolutely. I love Ben Hur. I yeah, I love that movie. Absolutely. Crazy I haven't movie. seen it in, in years. Well, and I wouldn't it was, go that far, but <laughs> it was on, and I didn't watch it. It was on TCM on Easter, and I didn't watch it. No excuses. <laughs> well, I, Mom, I had things to do on Easter, like you know, family and all that. Yeah, the color, 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 some color, like, some what, Easter eggs. Again, I'm what, not. Stretch, I'm, stretch not <laughs> I'm not living at my house, so you know, I have to. Right. You know. Yeah, <sighs> you know, you understand. Yeah, Phantom Carriage, you know, again, Criterion has it, so I, you know, I bought it and I, I do enjoy it. The special effects, the way they, the way they, they did the effects was pretty, uh, pretty satisfying. I didn't like Escape from New York. I don't like anything. No, I do like a lot. I just said so many things I like, but, uh, I just think it's silly. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I saw it in a drive in when it came out. I barely remember it. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you can't even see it. Look at that. What a waste. It's a waste. Waste of a, tea, of a, yeah. of a, of a <laughs> stupid thing. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why I bother putting these on. As long as you can see Dr. Jekyll. Uh, <laughs> come on. I still never seen The Fog. I got it in the box back here from, like, October. Jeez, somebody. What am I doing? Let's watch a movie. What am I doing wasting my time on here? Wow. More Cowbell. Remember that on... Uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a good so one, too. Apparently, yeah. apparently, if I wanted to watch a movie, it would be The Godfather, because somebody said that's what's playing on TCM right now. So mm. yeah. <laughs> I would love to miss that. Uh, I'm not going to argue the difference with between the, what's What's the difference between The Mist and The Fog? Oh, about... Three, I don't know, three millimeters. I don't know. I'm don't teasing. Know. I'm making a joke. Know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, wait a minute. We forgot about the Saturday night. Oh yeah. So anyway, American Graffiti. I agree with that. But uh, you know, uh, okay. This is another great one. How can I forget the, uh, with John Belushi's Captain Kirk? I'm talking about the one with Get a Life. When he yeah. tells everybody to get a Shatner life. at the yeah Shatner at the Star Trek convention. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Uh, funny stuff. Okay, Glenn. Take care. Yeah. Huh? Jamie Foxx, Robin Hood, really? I don't know. No, no. I, I I'll take the original Robin Hood from yes, uh, early forties or whenever it was. Uh, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. That was another. That was uh, Eddie Murphy doing Mr. Rogers. Yep. Yeah. Colin and Blow. Yeah, yeah, another one. Colin and Blow. There was so many. There was Puppy Uppers and Doggy Down. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, mineral, the mineral water that had, like, you know, rocks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
He looks like a monster. I've seen him. Does he look bad now? I, I, I'll he tell you exactly what a... happened to Piscopo. He got into bodybuilding and weightlifting, and I'm sorry, but guys with huge physiques and aren't funny. He, he wasn't funny anymore. That's what happened to him. He started working out and got big, and he wasn't funny anymore. Take back Joe Piscopo. <laughs> That's what happened to him. He, you know, he just hasn't aged gracefully, I guess. There you go. Well I said. Don't, I'm sorry, but I'm not a big Harry Housen fan. Is that sacrilege? I I respect what the man was able to do in the in his time, that he, that he could do that. But these days, I don't like watching Harry Housen effects that much. I hate to say. Well, some of them are better than others, but um... you know. Hmm. But I mean, like, uh, uh, what's the one I like? Uh, Twenty million miles to Earth. I like. Yeah. Still, um, that might be his best one. Mighty Joe Young. Did he do the work on Mighty Joe Young? I think he did. He was an uh, Did he or was he an apprentice? He's. Uh, he worked on it. I can't remember if he was the main guy or not. He worked on it for sure. Mm. Um. Uh, see yeah, thing. Mr. Arkin. Yeah, there's, there's. Um, when Criterion released yeah. it back in the day on DVD, they had they released two different versions of the film. They, I don't think they had the rights to it anymore, so they haven't re upgraded it to Blu-ray yet. So, um, I, I don't think it's that good, to be honest with you. But I mean, I'd watch it again. I haven't probably seen it in 20 years. I watched it last year, I think, and I liked it better than the first time I saw it. Mm. Okay. Um, still this, not um, this appeared on TV the other night, and I tried watching it, and I was like, no way. Yeah. I didn't like here's it. I the, the Hustler I like. Here's but, another case where an actor wins an Oscar, which he shouldn't have won it for. He should have won it earlier uh, for movies like HUD or The Hustler. Um, so, yeah. That's what it is. Or The Sting. <laughs> I don't know. And every time I see... Uh, what's his name in that movie? Uh, Tom Cruise in that movie. Yeah. All I want to do is this to him. Oh, I can't stand his character <laughs> or his acting in that movie. His, his animations. Can't stand it. Uh, I, you know, I, I haven't seen everything by John Carpenter, but of what I have seen, I'd agree with this. You know, I like the thing. it's become it's become a master. I mean, that movie what well, that movie bombed at the box office, and yeah. it, it, it it became a uh, a cable classic. True, the mist is more depressing. Well, I'm definitely gonna go for Shatner, but I do like Patrick Stewart as well. He's just I a different kind. Shatner. Yeah, you know, yeah, Shatner. different different kinds of characters. You know, Halloween for Oliver. John Wayne's film, The Conqueror, is on DVD. William Conrad has his brother. Mm -hmm. huh. um, I do like Django Unchained quite a bit. I like it mostly for, I always say his name wrong. Jeez, who's the guy that I like in that? Uh, he was in the other Christoph, film. Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz. I love him in that movie. And Jamie Foxx is good in, in there. I just don't, I just don't like, and I, oh, and I love, it's my favorite film with, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's my favorite mm. That's, performance. From, from I always say that movie has the second best, I don't even know what you call it, covered wagon, you know, um, ah. wagon that's pulled by a horse ever in film. The first <laughs> one, the first one is Ducky Sucker. The one in Ducky Sucker oh, is Ducky even, sucker. the one in Ducky Sucker is the size of a tractor trailer. It's friggin' huge. <laughs> But for some reason, it, I, it loses me near the end. There's something that happens too. It's too much at the end, or something with the fire and all this. I remember with Samuel L. Jackson or something, and I don't know. I I don't. I kind of let down later, but um, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I remember seeing. Is that the one at the end when Kevin Spacey thinks? Is it Kevin Spacey or somebody thinks he's gay? Yeah, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, or some other guy. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I saw it. It's, I um, 
yeah, I know you're talking. Yeah, it's not Kevin Spacey. No, but, somebody um, else. He's a confused. It's the dad. Or something. It's the it's it's the father of the uh, the son that's inter 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 interested in his daughter. Um, and uh, oh, yeah. I know the movie. I only remember seeing it and going okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I don't you know a big deal. Uh, man, Andrew Dice Clay is funny as a crutch. I think he's funny. I think he's funny, but I I, I, got, you know, I saw him live. Well, I mean, I, I like what he's. I know he's doing a character. That's the whole thing to me. You know? Right. Yeah. He's doing exactly. an obnoxious freaking jerk. Yeah. Big, you know, tough guy character. Yeah. You know. I uh, yeah, the cheeseburger uh, with the stones at the counter, eating burgers and fries. Okay, they did the cheeseburger thing. Uh, what Ron Wook part of the uh, Rolling Stones? <laughs> yeah, well, I know you meant Wood. We, we know. Thank God he didn't correct it. I can't stand when people do that. We know what you mean, you know. Yeah, Jason the Argonauts for its time was a good looking film, I guess, but now I know all those skeletons are just animations. I like guys in suits, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're a big guys in suits fan. Yeah. The thing has the best practical effects ever. Yeah, good effects. They are. Centennial miniseries. Anybody? Nope. Oh, well, you lost me with Brian Keith. Sorry, but you, you lost <laughs> well, wait me a minute. There. He was in The Mountain Men with Charlton Heston. Mm. <laughs> so. Isn't that the, uh, the family affair, Dad? Yeah, yeah. Uncle Bill. Yeah. Uncle Bill. Yeah. No, I made a mistake or... of calling him Mr. Bill. I knew he was Uncle Bill. Yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. you have a brain Uncle fart? Uncle Bill. I, I was showing a comic okay. book, and I'm like, well, he has Mr. Bill on it. It's Mr. Bill. Mm. That's another funny. No. My sister yeah. used to crack up, scream with laughter every time he did a Mr. Bill scene. Yeah. I loved back then, or if you can put that uh, one, the other one back up, with when um, the thing was uh, um, released on the same day as E.T. And those were, you know, great days when you had, like, three or four films opening on the same day. You know, I, I kind of miss the, I mean, now you're lucky if you have, like, you know, two yeah. films opening on the same day. But, or two, you know, high-profile films opening on the same but, day, you know, so but, it's just. But, but you could do that. Hey, there was a billion films back then. But you could do yeah. that because they're both going to, six months from now, they're still both going to be playing somewhere. And that's, there's still six months. Exactly. <laughs> that's another, yeah. Exactly. You have that's to see an opening see weekend. Much, right. Right, or, that's something you gone, don't see much anymore know. either. Yeah, right. You know, I might have seen that in the movies too. I think absence right. of malice, but I don't remember it. Terrible person. Favorite bad movie with me is Deadly Prey. I haven't. I don't think I've seen it. I haven't seen it either. How about Falcon and the Snowman? I've uh, only seen the, uh, parts of it. I don't think I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, that's Sean Penn and Timothy Hutton, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a minute, I tried to check to make sure this wasn't Martin writing this. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, no, I don't mean Martin. I meant Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. Yeah. This is Martin. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. a good cast for sure. Uh, anatomy of a murder is even better than 12 angry men opinions Tom hasn't seen it um no it comes out um it comes out next month on Cri criterion's releasing it next month what so. are we talking about uh, that was, oh anatomy of a murder it's called an anatomy of a murder yeah it was the two fil it was two of the eight films that i didn't get to see for that were for best picture um from from last year but I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, I did like that driving cat too. Yeah, that was that was funny. Kuntz is the oh, cat. Oh. Yeah. Kuntz's. Tunces. That's it. Tunces. The cat that drives. <laughs> the thing was great. E. T. blows. Yeah, well, uh, I mean e. okay for a kid, you know. Not at the time. 
The time it was the opposite. Up, here we go. This is a typical Henry post. There it is. Typical Henry. Come on, Henry. I let you stay here. Come up with some new stuff. Watch some new movies. Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about anatomy and murder. I'm talking. Okay, I'm thinking of anatomy of a fall. Sorry. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anatomy, anatomy and yeah, murder. Yeah. Is murder. Otto Jimmy Clemens Stewart. Is. Right. Boop. Um. Yeah. And then you got um, great performance from. Uh, damn it! I'm drawing the blank on his name. The guy from from Twelve Angry Men as well. Um. No. George C. Scott. No, George C. Scott. <laughs> is, uh, um, yeah. Fan. Fantastic. Uh, there as well. Ben Gazzara. Yeah. Thank you for the remark. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, T Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I like Cool Hand Luke. That's me. That was me at work. Everybody, a guy called me Cool Hand Luke. I didn't take no crap from the bosses, man. I drove them nuts. <laughs> and unlike him in the movie, I won. Well, I don't know. He's smiling at the end of the movie still. <laughs> Can't get rid of that smile. Uh, could be. Yeah, it's hard to Citizen say. What Henry Kane might be for me the best film ever made. I know that's cliche. Well, it's not my is. favorite film, but it's it's a really good film, and everyone should see it. Of course you should see it, Henry. You and everyone else. Well, which three stooges think, box set? I'm sorry, go ahead, Tom. Finish. No, I just I think it's I think it still holds up today. Uh Citizen well, yeah. Kane. Yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful I mean, I saw that movie and I thought it was amazing, you know, amazing movie. It's, Mostly it's, for it's style. Not really. a great, it's, yeah. it's, the way it was shot, yeah. Yeah. And then I saw it again with my nephew a second time years later, and I was like, "Yeah, you guys didn't knock me out as much as the first time. The first time it really knocked me out." But anyway, as far as the Three Stooges box, though, I don't know which they have a lot of knockoffs. Which one are you talking about? It has to be the one with the original, uh, all the shorts in it. I don't know. Yeah, the know. one with the one with all seven or however many little boxes in it. That's the one you yeah. need. But if you want to go on the cheap. There's like I don't know if it's still in print. There's like an eight movie set when their films that you used to be able to get for like five bucks. That's worth getting because it's got like eight movies in it, and they're better quality than you'd think. Um, yeah, if you want to get big into them. All right, Martin. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> I think I read Myrna, Myrna Loy, review. baby. <laughs> yeah, Mer I love Merle Loy. Yeah, I never really got to this in Kane. Tried several times. Hey, listen, I mean, that could be your, uh, your um, uh, pet sounds, like for, for Joe, you know? Yeah, you know. Well, there's a lot of those great movies quote that I don't do, get. Do, like do, I do some research on, now I'm not going to think of his name. The guy that ran the, the newspaper, what's his name? That Citizen oh, Kane William was about. William, 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 William Randolph Hearst. Do some Hurst. William yeah. Randolph Hearst yeah. research and then watch it and you'll get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I prefer the commercial when he's trying to do the wine commercial and he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. I haven't seen a general. I'm sorry. I know it's a classic. Oh, the general is is probably it's not my favorite, but again, probably Buster's best film. I saw since I've been home. I saw the cameraman for the first time, and I oh, okay. enjoyed it way more than I yeah. thought I would. Yeah, I, the, I have that criterion because really it's one of his not last bad. silent films, um, and he right. didn't direct it. Um, he made it for another studio, which is why I haven't seen it. It's never in his box sets or anything because it's made by another studio. All I can say about I this is, is I like City Lights, but I've never seen Modern Times, I don't think. 
the I'm both gonna take great. modern times. Yeah, I'll I'd take modern take, times though. I'd probably take City Lights, but they're both great. I mean, and you got to give Chaplin <laughs> credit for making two silent films in the 30s. I mean, you got mm. you got to give him some credit for that. <laughs> I think we've been through this question a million times too. I I think. I don't know. A lot of people's favorite was on last night, which is on UTV, but I didn't watch it because it's not my favorite. Tell me what it is. Um, I can't think of the title of it. Speed it up a little. But Um, the one was was the one was the one with Shatner on the plane. Oh, I thought that was was, 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 feet or whatever. Nightmare at I don't know how many feet. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. It's so, you know, when you see some of these a lot of times, they're not the same, but that one, that one's one of my favorites. One of my scariest one I've always said is It's a Good Life with uh, Billy Moomy as the kid that terrorizes everybody. They're afraid he's gonna, they're going to disappear or what, he's got the powers. Uh, and I like, is it called The Midnight Sun? The one when the woman. Uh, what is yeah, it? I know it's, what one you're talking about. It's too cold. It's hot. Too it's hot. hot. It's hot, but it's actually really freezing at the end. There, I just gave it away. Yeah, you gave it away, <laughs> you bastard. Uh, those are the ones no. that come to mind. How about Kick the Can? Yeah. That's a good one. One that one that I really like, and I don't know the name of it. It, it was it was rare. I don't remember seeing it as a kid. It's it was rarely shown. Is is a Burgess Meredith one where he's living in this like it's it's the future and it's like this Nazi yeah. regime and he gets pulled in as being obsolete and he winds up taking the leader out with him. It's yeah, that one's really good, but it's not shown that much. I'm gonna let Tom answer this one first. <laughs> I don't even I don't know any Mary picked. I I think you? I've seen I think I may have seen one maybe 20 30 years ago and I don't remember which one it was but that, uh, me too that's my yeah. answer I saw one yeah, I I years. saw <laughs> one last year but I, I can't know. is it it it's not sparrows I don't but maybe it was she's she's like me, uh, plays this like 14 year old and she has to take care of all these kids and it was actually a good film I was surprised how good it was. But I can't remember. I'll look up one. Mary Pickford here real quick. Um, I think that's the only one I've seen. Isn't this the talkie? The Great Dictator is his first yeah. talkie. Yeah, talkie. there is talking. Yeah. There, the, it's weird. I know you haven't seen it, Joe, but there is talking in modern times. But it's all on intercoms and stuff. Oh, Machines okay. talk. People don't talk. Machines talk. I forgot about this one. This is one of my favorite oh, Twilight Zone. That's on tonight. Tell, tell me that's on me TV tonight. You gotta see it. If you didn't see midnight it, or twelve thirty or whenever the Twilight Zone's on. That's great. That's on tonight. On me TV. I always forget that one. I'm glad you reminded me. <laughs> so what were we talking about with this? Oh, the man, the man with the man with the um, golden with arm. The golden arm, something arm. arm. Golden arm. Gold, yeah. yeah. I said it already. Is this thing too low? You. That's gonna be on some cable channel this weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's the monsters are due. All on I do Maple is Street. watch TV all day. It's sad. <laughs> no, it's not. The monsters are due on Maple Street. That's the name of that one. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. Most Twilight Zones are good. I like Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, even though they didn't make it. Yeah, it's the only Twilight Zone they didn't make, but it's still really good. I don't know this. It's just a film of and a cow catcher. I have no idea. Yeah. Of course it's great. If I like it, it's got to be great. Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, it might have been filmed. It might have been filmed on video. Yeah, the video ones. You're yeah, the hour about. long ones. Yeah. The hour long ones. They yeah. they filmed it. Um, Not all of them. On video, on the uh, video. Most of them on on whatever. Like the Christmas one is filmed that way, for sure. <laughs> this was on the other night. You know, Jack Klugman, 
Uh-huh. And it was, you know, he's always Jack Klugman. You're kidding! <laughs> yeah, Pip, where are you, Pip? Uh, Pip, I miss you. It was on the end. Oh, I must end the stream. Damn it. Press the end stream instead of comments. Wow. Well, we're still going. Yeah. Well, you got to hit it twice, so you're good. Yeah. Oh, my legs are getting stiff. The masks. <laughs> yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, we only got another, like, nine minutes or so. I despise Return of the Living Dead. I don't like stupid horror films like that. So I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, the Twilight Zone. What What is that called? The one with the pigs. The, the uh, pig faces. Uh, um, you know what's going on in that. I forget the name. Yeah, that's I, the, I the problem. A lot of them, once you've seen them once. I mean, To Serve Man is arguably the best one. But once yeah. you know the ending... You know, but I'm but I'm saying even if you didn't see that one with the faces, uh, like you said, I would think well, I know you what can, was you going can guess, on. You, you can guess what? Um, yeah, I like this called one too. Something about be- beauty is only skin deep or something. The like eye of the that. beholder or something. The eye, yeah, the eye of the beholder. But yeah. I said it, but nobody heard me. <laughs> is, it, is it my mic? Um, I gotta speak up. I gotta yell. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're, you're anyway, too timid yeah, I like this one, so. but William Shatner also. Yes. God help me there. <laughs> oh, I like the one when he plays the uh, Minnesota Fats, too. Jack Clark. Yeah, was that a one's few good. The one, the one with his son is good. His son, he finds out his son has died in the war, and then he comes Piff. and sees him as a little said kid. Pip. <laughs> Yeah, Pip. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. This is for you. Hold on a minute. This <laughs> is for you. Get ready. Assume the position. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Michael Keaton. This guy is... Uh, I think Michael Keaton is underrated and should have had a bigger, more successful career. He had a pretty successful career. career. Yeah, he had a pretty successful career. That's for older people that know all this stuff. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. But I will disagree and say I don't think all Twilight Zones are good. I think there's a couple in there that aren't so great. You got a couple of dogs in there. There's a couple of clunkers. The one with the slot machine comes and gets the guy. It's not that the concept is bad, but the execution isn't great. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, fortunately, I missed that one. I don't you got you it. got one on you got one on me there, Henry. Stump Tom. That's going to be the new game. Yeah. 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 I'll stump you. I'll come here with movies and stump you. Yeah, I know. You know what? You, listen, let's talk about this because, you know, you, you, I know this morning, you, you know, oh, talking shit. About it, and you said you, you like all these oddball films, but I, I mean, what, tell me about them. I mean, which ones are they? You know, you There's don't know a lot of oddball you know, films. How do I tell you about every oddball film? Well, go get some. Go get some. Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of films that aren't too odd, but you still got to don't know them. That's, those aren't oddball films. No, those you aren't know. oddball. They're not. Yeah. So, so they're not all oddball films that I like. The Monster of Camp Sunshine is That's oddball. an oddball film. Yeah, that's Danny. A story about Danny and his and his, and his mutt. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorites as well, actually. As it turned out, I would say no, but it, at at first it was he was considered very miscast when he was talking about it. What do you think? I right? I mean I think he was cast because he made a good um um not Batman but Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So, you know, they wanted somebody charismatic as Bruce Wayne, and I think they weren't going completely serious. You know what I mean? They were trying to. They were, they were playing a little bit off the '60s TV show. I think just a little bit. You know, I mean, there's a little yeah. bit of comedy in that. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, they do. Janice, yeah. Yep. 
Gee, that's where they get the that. bulk of their film. That, that's where they get the bulk of their films. Well, what were they looking for when they were making the Batman movie? Somebody with just like a little bit of a little bit of hair left. What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a guy with a lot of hair for Batman. Good head of hair. Well, um, TCM shows a lot of genre films because I see that that Criterion logo quite often. <laughs> yeah, that's a great genre. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, uh, I don't know yeah. this movie. I don't know this yeah, movie. There's, there's, there's an, another Italian film, uh, horror film or slasher film that I just put on my uh, Amazon wish list called uh, "Strip Nude for Your Killer." Oh. I don't know if you've seen that one. Just the title. Don't I don't know it. Yeah. Well, that's a good sounding one. Absolutely. This yeah. is his his movie debut, by the way. Yeah, it's fantastic and fantastic in Night Shift. It's still one of my all time yeah. favorite movies, comedy or, or yeah. anything. I just love it. Got a lot of memories there, but that's also. I think it's very good comedy, but I also think it just ha reminds me of a special time in my life. Uh, Ray Bradbury, theater TV show. Um, I saw Alfred Hitchcock, but I don't know the Ray, Ray Bradbury yeah. theater TV show. Yeah, I've been watching Hitchcock's show lately because it's it's on. <laughs> I have to watch what's on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get a Sherlock's Home Colors box set. That's for sure. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. I got to see part one first. <laughs> oh, this yeah, was I'm great. I'm looking forward to seeing it, actually. Pacific Heights with Michael mm. Keaton. Oh. Neighbor from Hell. That was good. I didn't love the first Beetlejuice, to be honest. I thought it was okay. Yeah. I didn't love it, though. Oh, I didn't think I, I didn't see what everybody else saw in it. I didn't go, wow, this is great. Just there is no cur there is no curly Joe or curly Joe Dorita. There's only curly Joe Dorita. <laughs> talk about Joe Besser. <laughs> Probably Joe talking Besser's about Joe. It, Joe Besser is just Joe. And then there's curly yeah. Joe Dorita. Yeah. I think, I, I, yeah. I think Joe Besser, by the way. Thinking back to Michael Keaton, I, I'm still I still got a lot of fondness and nostalgia for Mr. Mom. Um, yeah. you know, although I do really like his performance in Night Shift, I think he really stood out. And, and oh, he, um, he was great, Mr. In that Mom. Movie. He really. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Mr. Yeah. Mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember again. I remember seeing. I remember in my mind. I got this image of going to a certain theater to see it. I don't even know. This. I remember the theater. Um. Yeah. I, well, I'm not going to argue too much with that statement. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it's a disgrace. Although you got Charlton Heston playing an ape in it. And of course, you got to go, damn them. Damn them all to hell. I can't stand that when they do that wink, wink, kiss the dialogue. Oh, I hate when they do that. <laughs> Boy, they do that. They do that in so many things. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, he must have thought it was a good idea. He, he must have thought it was a good idea. I can't believe he was in it. But, yeah. Uh. Batman movie, so 66. I, I think the series, most of the episodes of the series were better than the movie, at least the first season anyway. The movie's too but long. But the movie is fine. Yeah, it's it's, it, yeah. it's too long, and they didn't have a good Catwoman. It's, it's got its moments. I think yeah. I, I know she's not the best Catwoman, ideally, but yeah. she's, I think Lee Merriweather is damn hot. <laughs> Some days yeah. you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah, that's the best yeah. part. That's the that's, that's... <laughs> and, the, and the shark repellent. You know. Yeah, yeah, the shark repellent's great. Again, I say this every time we talk about this movie, but that movie has to be watched with a commentary track because yeah. Adam West and Burt Ward do the commentary track and they slip into character from time to time. It's really <laughs> funny. Old chum. <laughs> Old chum. I had a thing for uh, Winona Ryder, definitely myself. Oh, I think we all did. Mm. Oh, this one, this there's one. one for his first crush. There you go. There's one for you, Joe. Yeah, there's one for me because I actually this box set came out on DVD and I bought it. And I started watching. It. I'm like, this sucks, and I was hating every episode, <laughs> so I never finished it. But I did. I, I I do think there's some good episodes in there. Um, the one with Boris Karloff actually. Karloff is not in every episode. You know, he he introduces them. The introduction. Okay. But then he stars in some of them, and those not just because it's him, but they happen to be good ones, you know. Joe, 
Gee, I think I know exactly what the answer is going to be here for Tom. Mm. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, 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 I guess I, I, I'll go Xanadu. <laughs> You know, I would have to go with the Sergeant Pepper's movie. <laughs> I haven't seen either, and I don't want to. I don't want to see either of them. But on that oh. note, I got to call this quits because it's an hour and a half, mm. and I got to get back to my evening. Wow, that was quick. That was goes fast. Yeah, that was really this, quick. Yeah. Well, I'm glad yeah. you people could all join us here. This was a yeah. quick one while he's away, and nice uh, there you go. Hopefully, yeah. uh, hopefully, Tim, you can join us next time as well. You know, if you're free, and uh, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Can can I be free? You know, and tell us what Turner Classic movies you've watched by then. Okay, oh, I watched The Hard great. Day's Night like a week and a half ago. You know what's <laughs> funny? I actually shut it off. Right, it was on like six o'clock or something, and I'm yeah. like, I just I just saw it in the movie theater last well last year, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, it's and I watched it like for maybe twenty five thirty minutes, and I'm like, I right, that's enough. Because I, could, I, I really, I, I really it. like. I have to be. I love the movie, but I just saw it mm -hmm. on this big mm. screen, and I'm like, I just wasn't in the mood. <laughs> All right, so okay, everybody. Thanks, guys, on the screen, and thank you all out there. And we will see you next week, same time. Thumbs up.